Hello and thank you for watching the third lesson of chapter 10, which is 10.3 Global Unicast Address and a Link Local Address Static Configuration. So this is a lab topology that I will be using to demonstrate static configuration for you. And as you can see, I have router 1 and a PC0 for this. And uh, router 1's IP address or IPv6 address is 2001 db 8 acad 0001 colon colon 1 forward slash 64. Forward slash 64, as you can see, that's our prefix. So forward slash 64 tells us how many bits is in our subnet, right? So there's 64 bits in our subnet, which means there's four hexdets. Because if you remember, one hexdet is 16 bits, and uh, 16 times 4 is 64. So that's 4 slash 64 is our subnet. And I put it in here in the red. I have put like a 0001. But as you know, I'm going to compress those zeros anyway. But just to make a point that that's our subnet ID. And as you can see, this prefix has to match on all our network devices. So as you can see, that all of them, they will have the same one on the LAN, yeah? And then the network ID, interface, sorry, interface ID has to be the difference. <laughs> so it has to be unique as a global unicast address. Now, when we enable IPv6 on any device, they will assign themselves a link local address. And a link local address, they will use that to communicate with each other. So in the LAN, not global unicast address, only link local address to communicate. And uh, it's recommended that you go and configure a static link local address to intermediary devices like router one, for example, FE80 colon colon one LLA. So that's our link local address. On the PC or end devices, you can leave it randomized. You don't really, you know, you're not concerned with them. But what we are concerned is with the routers because usually that will be our gateway, right? For end devices. So. If you remember, the link local addresses were the range was from FE80 colon on 10 uh, forward slash 10. Yeah, that's our prefix length. Now, this range goes all the way up to FEBF, right? So FEBF and then 10. Now, really, you don't need to know the range. I don't think anybody's going to ever ask you the range, just in case. Maybe you are looking for some <laughs> like high end job. But as long as in our exam, you're only going to see FE80, for example, the link local address. OK, and then uh, we're going to see that once we enable IPv6 address on the router and we enable IPv6 unicast routing because it's ena enabled by default, the router is going to start sending router advertisement to the PC, router advertisement. Or the PC, once we enable it on the PC, because I have disabled it, the PC will send a router solicitation message to, towards the router. Yeah, we'll see it anyway. OK, I'm going to show you now. I have a connection to my uh, router, so router 1. Just let me access that. That is it. And uh, I have just con configured a basic startup configuration on router 1. And you should know all of these basic startup configuration, as well as I've got a connection to my PC. Now, on the PC, I have disabled IPv6. So if you can see it, so open network and sharing center and change adapter setting. And as you can see on that properties, I have disabled IPv6. I will enable it, then run the Wireshark, and then we'll see it. OK, cool. So on the router, first thing is we're going to do is we're going to configure a static uh, IP address, static global unicast address, and that will enable IPv6 on the router as well. So if I just move this up here, <laughs> so you can see uh, we can see it nicely the IPv6 address. OK, so I'll do exit. You don't have to. If you know the commands, you can go straight to the command that you know. So interface interface fa00 and uh, i'll do ipv6 address now ipv6 commands are very similar to ipv4 commands it's pretty much you just have to type ipv6 in ip is just ip in ipv4 just ip address and then you will give an ip address in ipv6 we have to type ipv6 and then the address so the commands are very similar to ip to version 4 and version 6 you just put version 6 for version 6 2001 db8 uh, uh, let me write it 0 db8 uh, then we say acad then we said uh, 0001 and we said 0000 000, 000, 000 oops <laughs> uh, colon yeah always colon ipv6 always colon right 0001 now that's a 2468 now do you remember we said there's a there's a name for this, yeah. What was it called? There was a name. When I write every IPv6 value, hexadecimal value, there was a name. 
And that was this was called the preferred format, not because it's preferred, but it just says that we write in all the values. And then what we can do, we can compress. The rule one was to remove the leading zero. So every hex that we could take the leading zero off. So for example, that's the second hex that it's got one leading zero. I'll take that off. Uh, four, uh, fourth hex that it's got three leading zeros. Fifth hex that three leading zeros. That's a rule one. Yeah. So we're removing any leading zeros. Not trailing zeros. Yeah. <laughs> Don't remove trailing zeros because you change the IPv6 address. Um, then the second rule was any contiguous set of zeros, we can just represent them with double colon, which is these three. Uh, for example, hex that five, six, and seven, it's got three lead, uh, all continuous zeros. So we can take that off and we just represent them with double colon. Nicely compressed format. And then forward slash 64. 64 is our prefix length, tells the prefix. And then if I do no shutdown, um, now that will enable IPv6 on the router one, and then I'll say do, uh, for example, uh, show interface FA00, and then from here we can tell the link local address. You can see that, uh, sh sorry, show show IPv6. I should say show IPv6 interface interface FA00, and here we can tell the link local address automatically generated by the router using the MAC address, which we're going to see it, how he does it uh, late in later lessons. And then we're going to see that it's got the global unicast address that I gave it, I, I <laughs> configured, and that the prefix as well. Yeah. OK, so for the router to become like a default gateway and so on, we have to enable a unicast routing, right? Because by default, it's not enabled. So I need to go to uh, global configuration and say IPv6 unicast routing. Now the router will start sending advertisements saying, yep, I'm a router here. I could be your gateway and so on. So now I'm going to go to PC. Yeah, so access the PC. And uh, let me start the Wireshark. But sometimes it gets blocked once I do this, um, once I enable it. OK, uh, you, you should know this because we've done it so many times. We need to select the interface. And then, and then I will enable IPv6, right? So click OK. Um, yep. Let's start again, the Wireshark. OK, now there's going to be a lot of um, configuration. You see a lot of messages coming and going and so on. And I'm just going to filter. And I want to want to see the ICMPv6 messages. So ICMPv6 and press Apply. And then you can see quite a lot of neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement, because that's a finding the MAC address. What we, what I'm concerned with, is I'm concerned with router solicitation, which we probably missed it. Yeah, we did miss it. Um, and the router advertisement. And uh, we can't see it at the moment. But anyway, I'll come back here. We'll see it, yeah? But I'm going to open the command prompt and just see IP config. See, this PC will have already an IPv6 address. As you can see, it has a prefix. There we go. I think that's, oh no, that's still a neighbor. OK, it's got the prefix from the router. 2001 db8 acad1 and then it's just random generated his own ipv6 address and as well as the link local address has randomly generated one right so i should be able to ping the router from the pc for example so a ping uh, 2001 db8 acad quote unquote one and um no i'm pinging the wrong address yeah so i need i'm missing one hex that yeah so 2001 db8 acad1 quote unquote one and i got a reply excellent um and i can ping the link local i should be able to ping the link local so now i know fe80 it's easy to remember yeah these addresses okay that one is unreachable at the moment fe80 ah we haven't configured the link local on the router yet that's why it's unreachable but anyway have i got any router advertisement here let me just quickly search for echo replies because the router advertisement you remember it says every 200 seconds so every 300 min uh, sorry three over three minutes we'll get i can't see any router advertisement here from the router no i stopped a bit too early i think neighbor solicitation okay i can start again and just see maybe we get one anyway I'm going to go back to the router and now we're going to configure a static link local address on the router. Yeah, so that's my router. 
and um, here if I do well go to the to the interface so configure T interface FA00 and then for for link local address they start the same IPv6 address FE80 colon colon one here we don't have to put prefix so we don't have say we don't have to say forward slash 64 we just tell that it's a link local address local address and that will be the address for our router as a default gateway for the PCs for example when we configure statically on the PC um, I still not able to see I don't no, there we go there we go <laughs> I told you this every every 200 seconds these are hard to come by um, we have a router advertisement um, either every 200 seconds or either when the PC sends a router solicitation but we have a router advertisement here as you can see it's um, from the link local address of the router to all PCs yeah all IPv6 enabled devices this is a link uh, multicast address for all IPv6 enabled devices FF sorry 02 colon colon 1 so if I do expand that I just want to see that internet control message version 6 or internet control message protocol version 6 and in there we should see some um, well which one did I router advertisement yeah uh, the flags is telling us that not managed, um, not other, so flag zero zero, and um, <clears throat> we can see. <laughs> I'm, I was expecting to see the prefix and the prefix uh, prefix length, but I'm not seeing on that on that router advertisement. Uh, let's see on this one. Okay, do we have? Yeah, here we have. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for this prefix information. See the router is telling us that's our prefix. And that's our prefix length. So prefix length is 64. Prefix is what you can see it on the screen. And then on the PC, we can we can give an IP address statically. Um, either way, you remember in IPv4 as well, we could do it dynamically or statically. Dynamically will be preferred because you don't have to go to each individual PC and give an IPv6 address. But here I will go and say 2001. I will do it compressed here. DB8, ACAD, ACAD. And then the subnet ID has to be the same. And here you can choose whatever you want. <laughs> you have you have something like 16 and decillion, uh, no, uh, quintillion addresses. <laughs> um, let's do two. <laughs> and then the link local address, the gateway is the link local address of the router. Okay. So now I should ping. I should be able to ping the link local address. Do you want to restart? Yes. I know we the video is becoming too long, but very quickly we'll restart. Go back to the router while well, that is restarting. And I'll do a show IPv6 interface interface uh, interface brief, and you can see that I have on fast Ethernet 00, I have a link local address, and I have a global unicast address. Right. Let's see. When the PC starts, we're going to start the command prompt and just see that we can ping the link local address as well. And then we're done for this video. <laughs> okay. So command prompt, ping the gateway. FE80 colon colon one. Yes, <laughs> it works. So I can finish the video. Excellent. Um, thank you for watching lesson 10.3 global unicast address and a link local address static configuration. This is of chapter 10 IPv6 addressing. Please have a look at my other videos on the YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye bye.